In this tutorial, we'll be painting this easy stylized koi painting in acrylic. This painting can be created in an easy afternoon and at the end of it, you'll have a nice keepsake. So let's get into it. For this project, we used a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas, a 50 millimeter artist wide tacklon, a pack of acrylic brushes and a tear off paper palette. For paint, we'll be using some Viridian Green, Cobalt Blue, Titanium White, Black and Orange. All of these colours are in the acrylic colour range. The first thing we need to do is transfer the outline. You can find this outline on our website and this has been printed out to A3 sizing. The back of the page can then be shaded, taped into position and then retraced. Because we will be creating the background over the drawing, we have to retrace in the line work so it will be visible beneath the coat. To get a nice soft look to the canvas, we first create a wash with Viridian. To do this, dip the wide brush in the water and then charge the brush with the colour. We only take the colour up the canvas three quarters of the way. Allow this to dry and then cover the canvas with a wash of cobalt blue. We ended up giving this a second coat once the first coat was dry. Allow this second coat to dry. Next we create a blue-green mix from white, a touch of Viridian and a touch of Cobalt Blue and paint the reeds in the background. Then we paint in the lily flower, the flower's reflection, the lily pads and the fish in with a thin coat of white. While you're here, don't forget to take a look around the Create section on our site and uncover a whole heap of free stuff. From free projects, handy tips and tricks and techniques to keep you busy. To get an opaque coat on the lily, we give it a second coat once the initial coat was dry. Once the flower has been painted in, we create a green from Viridian and white and paint in the lily pads. A light grey can be created from white and black and painted into the fins and tails of the fish. We can then lay a second coat of white into the fish in the appropriate areas followed by orange to create those koi markings. We added a second coat of white and orange to make it pop more. We then use black to paint in the eyes. While we have that black, we lay a shadow under each lily pad. And voila. Well, we hope you enjoyed this quick little project and you enjoy creating your own version. Otherwise, have fun, keep creating and we'll see you in the next one.